But here's some really good news. Look, the limiting factor ultimately is the number of doses we receive from the federal government. And on that uh, front, we were on a call today, the Governor's Association, with the uh, Biden administration vaccine team. And they told us just a couple hours ago that we could expect a 16% increase in our allotment uh, nationally. And that will boil down to about a 16% increase for our state. And that that would be um, a certain delivery schedule for the next three weeks. So having a 16% increase is, is really great news. It's also great news that they're giving us certainty of those delivery because our providers have been bedeviled with uncertainty and unpredictability of the delivery schedules. On top of that, they will also deliver to us the special syringes that are used to coax uh, an additional dose out of every vial of the Pfizer product. So instead of having five doses of vial, a vial we will have six. So we have an additional 20% of the Pfizer product. The 16% increase will be a combination of the Moderna and Pfizer product. So this is really great news that in such short order, the Biden administration has been able to produce an increase of, of supply, which is the ultimate uh, issue that we have to deal with. That's really great news. It's been about a week since I announced our new uh, measures to accelerate our vaccine delivery system. And I have this, we can now say, these measures are working. We uh, certainly have a long ways to go, but we have made very significant progress in the last week that I'd like to share with you because we know how urgent this uh, mission is and we know how eager, and this is good news, that Washingtonians are most eager to get this vaccine. Uh, just to share some of the data with you, um, uh, just about a week ago, we, uh, we were administering about 14,000 uh, doses a day, and now about a week later, we're up to about 24,000 a day on a seven-day rolling average. Uh, that's on the rolling average. So we've had about a 10,000 dose per day increase on a week averages, and to... Uh, and to show you uh, how far we've gone just the last few days, let me just show you this chart here, which shows over the last several days, uh, as of January 19th, uh, we did 16,146 doses. This past Saturday, we did 36,478. And Sunday, big day, we did 39,063, just short of our 40,000 number. And as you know, it is our goal to build up capacity so we can do 45,000 vaccinations a day. It's very significant progress.